con a popular police program to get illegal or unwanted guns off the streets took place today in Maryland. As Hatzavela shows us, guns for gift cards was a success. My husband was a policeman. He passed away. Renee Taylor decided to turn over her husband's old service weapon. I just felt like it's, it's a good thing to surrender them. It brings back so many memories, you know. She met William Taylor at the police station. They married there 37 years ago. And it's like a part of my life, you know. He passed away eight years ago from cancer. She says it was time to let go. I held on to it long enough, you know. She did keep the safety box. Like, this is him, you know, this is so much a part of who he was. Just one reason for bringing back weapons during this buyback event in Prince George's County. This is a shotgun Walter Hagler found at an old house he was remodeling. It's ridiculous. They robbing old people, bank stores, people getting killed. It's terrible. That's why I brought that down here today. Hey, this here is a Tech 9. It's things like this we don't want out in the streets. Once you fire that gun, you, you can't, you know, your lives are shattered. You can't take that back. Halfway into the event, they had collected about 50 weapons. They average about 100 guns each time they hold the event. I fired at a groundhog a couple days ago in the jam. You said it jammed up on you? Yeah. Okay. We're taking a side now. Uh... No questions asked, and residents walk away with a $100 gift card. We're very fortunate that a citizen came and decided to turn this weapon into us. Once our weapons have been collected, they check them to see, make sure they haven't been stolen. If that's not the case, then they're melted down. In Prince George's County, Hatsovella, ABC 7 News.